water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. A hundred years passed, and my brother Sokka and I discovered the new Avatar, an airbender named Aang. Although his airbending skills were great, he had a lot to learn before he was ready to save anyone. But from the day I first met him, I believed Aang would save the world. And you know what? I was right. With the help of his friends, Aang defeated Fire Lord Ozai and ended the Hundred Year War. Zuko, Ozai's son, and our ally became the new Fire Lord. But although the battle has ended, the fight has only begun. Not you. Oh, you too. Well, it's been fun, guys, but I gotta get back to my school. Leaving already, Toph? Uh -huh. Yeah, somebody's gotta keep the lily livers, I mean my students, in line. Wait! You can't leave me alone with them! The yu gi -Oh City's only gonna get worse after you're gone! How am I supposed to keep my food down? Well, you could come with me. No, no. Hey, how about I go with you? Great idea, Sokka. Wish I had thought of it. Katara? Hmm? Aang? Hmm? I'm going with Toph to check out her school. Not because you two are giving me yogis or anything. Oh, uh, uh, that sounds good. We'll pick you up on the way back from Bossing Say. Hold on, guys. Just give up a second to land. Don't bother, Twinkle Toes. We're close enough to the ground. I can smell the trees near my school. Come on! Hey, isn't that the hand? You're just using a picture! <laughs> I gotta let go of you, but don't worry. <laughs> I'm worried! I'm worried! Not to worry. I tasted my own stomach when we were halfway down. Ah, by the end. Not a bad way to travel. So how'd you come up with the idea of starting your own school? After training Aang, I realized how fulfilling teaching can be. I mean, I helped him reach his potential as an earthbender, as the avatar, and as a human being. I felt like I really made a difference. So, when I discovered metal bending, I knew in my heart that I had to share it with the world. It was almost like a... a, a calling. Ah, uh, who are you kidding? You just like telling people what to do. <laughs> yeah. And yelling. I love yelling. <laughs> just where do you lily lovers think you're going? Don't tell me you are trying to escape. I mean, give up on your training. I'm gonna put you in so much hurt, you won't remember what day of the week it is. Sifu Toph! Oh, this is bad. We're so doomed. Sifu Toph, who's that? Oh, yeah. Sokka, these are my students. Hotan. Please, sir, save us from our doom. Panga. Your biceps are enormous. And Moot. The dark one. <sighs> the dark one. Lily Livers, this is my friend Sokka. Oh, I don't know about enormous biceps. Impressively large, maybe. You're my new boyfriend, starting right now. How 
How old are you, Panga? Almost 16. And by almost, you mean... Nine. I see. So what were we talking about before all this nice to meet you garbage? That's right. We were talking about her. Please, Sifu Top. We weren't trying to run away. We were kicked out. They wouldn't even let me pack all my shoes first. <laughs> I hate practicing forms, but getting kicked out is the worst. Kicked out? Hmm? Kicked out by who? Breathe in, disciples of Kunio. <laughs> Breathe in the fury of our ancestors. Breathe in the glory of... Get out! Get out of my school now! Who dares disturb Master Kunio's firebending dojo? Firebending dojo? This is the Beifong Metal Bending Academy! My students and I left this building in deference to the Harmony Restoration Movement. But now that the Fire Lord has recovered his senses and withdrawn his support for the movement, we've come back to reclaim what is rightfully ours! <laughs> Fire Lord Zuko's off his gourd. You people don't belong here. This is the Earth Kingdom's and the world's first school of metal bending. Shame on you for selling such a fantasy to these poor dupes, young lady. Everyone knows that metal bending doesn't exist. <laughs> master Kunio! Watch carefully, disciples. Your master's about to teach this dirt girl a lesson. Bring it on! Okay, everybody, calm down. If you two start fighting, there won't be a building left to fight over. This place is meant to be a school, right? It seems to me that it ought to go to whichever school is most effective. Oh, my boyfriend's so reasonable. Mm. Good point. Rather than settle this with a match between the teachers, we'll settle it with a match between our students. A match to the death. Yes! Oh, to the Figures it'd end this way. Does this mean I won't get all my shoes back? Uh, well, how about a match to the Sid instead? Wh what? You know, a match to the Sid. No, I don't know. Because you just made that up. Whichever team can force a member of the other team to sit down first wins. Well... I guess? As long as we still get to beat people up. So we're only partially doomed! Yeah, what great ideas my boyfriend has! Whatever, I'll still hate it. Come back in three days, Master Cunio. We'll have the match then. Three days? Why should we wait for- Or we could settle it right now, Master Pointy Head. Just you and me. <laughs> Harumph. Three days it is. I don't know about this, Sokka. The lily livers can't even... Come on, Toph! Those firebenders are a bunch of little kids! With three days of intensive training, your guys will be able to take them. Before we leave, disciples of Kunio, let's give our opponents the Kunio salute! <laughs> Beware, enemies of Kunio! For we shall roast you! In the flames of your own defeat! What's that you're always saying, Hotun? We're doomed. Pretty much. Find yourself a nice quiet hill to spend a night, okay, buddy? I'll whistle for you tomorrow after our meeting with the Earth King. Mm. <laughs> now we have to find a place to spend a night. I'm sure Iroh has a couple of spare rooms. Do you remember how to get to his tea shop from here? I think we go... Oh my gosh, is it like really you? <laughs> I 
I can't, like, believe it. It's really you with your flying lemur and everything? I had, like, this recurring dream where I'd wake up and you'd just be there all magically and stuff. I'd be like, wow, you're really here? But then I'd be like, oh, no, it's just a dream. But now it's real and everything? So, like, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have we met? Oh my gosh, it's like me who should be sorry. I'm Hei Wan, co-president and co-founder of the official Avatar Aang fan club, Bossing Say Chapter, and this is Wan Yi, my fellow co-president and co-founder. Can I just say your lemur is like so cute? <laughs> wow, did you hear that? They started a fan club for me. Wonderful. Nice to meet you both. I'm Aang. My lemur's name is Momo. <laughs> Momo is like the cutest name ever. <coughs> oh, and this is Katara. <coughs> My girlfriend, Katara. Hi. What an honor it is to meet Avatar Aang's first girlfriend. Why, thank you. I... Wait, what do you mean first? <laughs> uh, Aang, we should get going. It's getting late and we need to find a place. Oh my gosh! You guys are like looking for a place to stay? It'd be so amazing if you like stayed at our clubhouse. Um, it's just down the street and we like made it look like the Western Air Temple because most of our club members are girls and everything. Wow, I'd love to see it. <laughs> you said this is modeled after the Western Air Temple? Um, yeah. Wan Yi did, like, all the decorating to make it look upside down and everything? Like how the real temple is? <coughs> Do you, like, like it? I love it. <coughs> Thank you, official Avatar Aang fan club. I'm flattered. Come on, Katara. Let's check it out. Can't wait. Do you remember those family vacations we used to take on Ember Island? Once at the beach, you couldn't have been older than three at the time. We saw a hawk attacking a turtle crab by the water. You ran as fast as your little legs would carry you to rescue that turtle crab. Even then, you possessed an odd affinity for the weak. But then, when you had the turtle crab safely in your arms, you hesitated. The hawk looked at you with hungry eyes, and you realized you were condemning it to starve. You didn't know whether to side with the hawk or the turtle crab. Before you could reach a decision, a giant wave washed over you and carried you out into the ocean. I dove in myself to save you. You spent the rest of the day in your mother's arms, vomiting seawater. I came here looking for advice. I want to know how you were able to sleep peacefully in spite of the pressures of the throne. And I told you. I don't see how an old family memory- I'm tired, Zuko. We're done talking for now. Perhaps we will continue tomorrow. <sighs> Bring more tea. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <sighs> Nothing. No movement at all. How am I supposed to impress my boyfriend? I hate failure. This is bad! I can't concentrate on boards with doom coming in two days! I'm sick of hearing about doom! I'm not practicing with you anymore! I hate... I hate... all of this. So these were the most qualified students you could find, huh? It wasn't me. It was this. Ooh, space bracelet! Oh, how I miss you, Space Sword. About a year ago, I noticed that every now and then, when I was in public, my bracelet would shiver the tiniest bit. I could only feel it when I was really paying attention. Eventually, I figured out that this would happen when someone around me got super emotional. So I had an idea. Maybe these people who could move my bracelet could also become metal benders. I started recruiting them to my school. I met Hotan in a ramen house. He just found a spider wasp in his soup. <laughs> doom! I swallowed a mouthful of doom! Actually, it was more like half a spider wasp. Pango wasn't a marketplace, 
arguing over shoes with one of her family's servants. Forgive me, Mistress Penga, but we've already spent all the money your parents allotted for this shopping trip. I want them! I want them! I want them! And the dark one was people watching at a street corner. I hate you, and you, and you, and you. That sounds about right. Katara found out she was a waterbender because the ice would crack whenever I made her mad. <laughs> uh, whenever she got super emotional. Yeah, but there's a problem with finding students that way. Think about it. What kind of people get super emotional in public? Uh, crazy people? Crazy people! And even worse, the whole thing is just a theory. Nobody in that sorry group of lily livers moved even the smallest piece of metal since they've been here. Not even a coin. Listen, I don't like to brag, but... You love to brag. Okay, I love to brag, but Sokka of the Southern Water Tribe is just what this school needs. What are you talking about? You're not a bender of anything, let alone metal. Oh, but I am a bender. I may not be able to bend any of the elements, but I can bend people's motivation. I'm a motivational bender. That's a stretch. Hey, who led the invasion on the day of the Black Sun? Who started training warriors in his own tribe when he was just a kid? Sokka, the motivational bender. That's who. Just explain to me metal bending basics. Then leave the lily livers, I, I mean, your students, to me. To become a true metal bender, you have to not only see the metal, but hear the metal. Yeah. Taste the metal. And be the metal. That doesn't even make sense. Why should we listen to you? You're not a bender. Don't talk to my boyfriend that way. I've already explained this to you guys. I am a bender. A bender of motivation. Uh, hey, Sokka, am I doing this right? I'm trying to roll my eyes at you. Look, people, can we just give this a shot? Let's start with the defending palm technique. First, take a steady and strong stance, just like Sifu Toph taught you. Next, gather your chi deep in your gut. Feel your gut heat up like a furnace. Now let your gut furnace refine your senses. Close your eyes and feel the earth around you. Then feel the metal within that earth. Now feel the metal coins coming at you and stop them in midair. Come on, Team Bayfunk, let's metal bend! Oh. Oh. I'm bleeding, right? Oh, my forehead's gonna get infected. And then... You better buy me some shoes to make up for this! Do I even need to say it? I know, the Dark One. You hate me. Ah. Nice going, oh great bender of people's motivation. Amazing what a difference a fancy headband makes. You're not very helpful right now. And this is a technique called air scooter. I invented it when I was training at the Southern Air Temple. It's part of how I earned my tattoos. Look at him go. Wow. Oh how does he do it? Why is your tail in the so cool. This is so true. Here's a brand new technique I've been working on. First, I make a handful of air marbles. And then I turn them all into air scooters. Um, Avatar Aang? Good morning, Hei Wong. Shh. Come join the fun. Um, I'd like to, like, introduce you to somebody. This is my fellow co-president and co-founder, Yili. She's wanted to meet you since, like, forever. Another co-president and co-founder? How many co-presidents and co-founders are there? <laughs> <laughs> it's such an honor, Avatar Aang. I want to show you something I bought from a traveling merchant a couple years ago. Wow! An airbender's flute? Monkey Hatsu used to have one just like this! I just knew it had to be from the Air Nomads. Do you know how to play? <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is this whole dance move? <laughs> the Avatar is even more dreamy when he's playing music. I hate to ruin your fun, Aang, but shouldn't we get going? We're here to meet with the Earth King, remember? You're probably right. Bye-bye! 
Well, you certainly seem to enjoy those girls' attention. Aren't they amazing? I know it's just a silly fan club, but for a moment there, it almost felt like... like I was at home again with my people. Thanks for agreeing to stay there for the night, sweetie. It meant the world to me. Don't thank me, Aang. I don't deserve it. I stayed up all night thinking about what you said. At the beach, I was overwhelmed by my circumstances because I couldn't decide whose side to take. I should have sided with the hawk. It was strong and noble, much like the Fire Nation. It had earned its meal. But I've already done that, Father! I'm no longer neglecting the needs of my own people as I did when I first took the throne, and I still can't sleep! You're only partially correct in your assessment. Your sleeplessness does indeed stem from your inability to choose sides, to distinguish what is right. But you're wrong about the hawk. So you're saying, I should have defended the turtle crab? I should have sided with the weaker of the two? What I'm saying is this. There is no right or wrong apart from what you decide. Who you choose to defend deserves to be defended simply because you chose them. You are the Fire Lord. What you choose, by definition, is right. No! Right and wrong are bigger than me, or you, or even the Avatar! And I believe that the Avatar, the Earth King, and I can come closest to what's right by working together! I've heard rumors about this little meeting of yours. Do you think the Earth King, after being humiliated time and time again by our mighty nation and his own incompetence, will be reasonable? Do you think he'll treat the remaining Fire Nation Colonials fairly? In an attempt to restore his own dignity, he'll send out his army to crush them! If you truly are the Fire Lord, you will defend the Fire Nation citizens of Yu Dao ferociously! Not simply because they are your people, but because they are an expression of your will. I'm going to wait, and my patience will be rewarded with a peaceful resolution for everyone. Even as we speak, the Avatar is- The Avatar is an irrelevant relic of a bygone age. He wants to keep the world frozen in time by denying the inevitable victory of the strong over the weak. Avatar Aang is my friend. More often than not, he's been on the site that's right. I trust him! More than you trust yourself? <clears throat> you sicken me, Zuko. Leave my presence. Who are you to talk to me this way? Have you forgotten your current place in- Leave. My. Presence! presence, presence, presence. Look alive, lily livers! Take your horse stance, steady and strong. <laughs> Make your gut furnace and use it to feel the metal in front of you. Now, kick! Kick like your life depends on it! <sighs> <sighs> Not even a shiver. Aren't you gonna yell at us? No. Hey, Toph. Sorry to bug you during training, but something important just happened. Take a break, guys. We've already had three breaks this morning. The match is tomorrow. I said take a break! I just had the best idea ever. You said something important just happened. It did! In my brain. Listen, you said your students were able to move your space bracelet when they were super emotional. Well, to make them into metal benders, we just have to get them super, mega, uber emotional. And how do you plan to do that? <laughs> Let me guess. You're gonna wear two fancy headbands? Very funny. I've been thinking. For Ho Tun, it's easy. Doom? Yes. And Panga? Shoes. Of course. The Dark One's the only one I can't figure out. What gets to him more than anything in the whole world? His real name. 
but I promise I would never tell anybody. Please, 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 please! Okay, okay! Quit your blubbering. No way. What were his parents thinking? I know, right? No wonder that guy hates everything. Now, you remember what you did during our final battle with Ozai? In the cabin of that Fire Nation airship? I need you to do something like that! If only we had a whole bunch of metal to work with. Why didn't you say so? There's a bunker full of metal under the school building. Whoa! Look at all this Fire Nation armor! These are all kid-sized. Who would make armor for little kids? A weirdo like Kunio, that's who. So, here's what I need you to make with your metal-bending powers. Hello? How many times do I have to remind you? Right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, how about I just describe it to you? All right, so to get this thing started, mm -hmm. we're gonna need a montage. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be down here excitedly overlooking the work that I created because I'm such a genius, while you put things together and make it super awesome. Good. Right? Yes, 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 no, yes, no, yes, no, no. <laughs> Your boomerang is metal too, right? That's incredible! Tough Bay Fog, you've really outdone yourself! Just call me the greatest earthbender of all time! <laughs> no, seriously, I want you to call me that. Tough, you're the greatest earthbender of all time. Gee, thanks, Sokka. That's so sweet of you. One last exercise, and then we'll call it a day. Mm. Earthbenders, create a barrier. Now, everyone, attack! <laughs> Good work. We'll meet again tomorrow morning, same place. Bye. Bye. Catch you tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, take care. Psst, Corey. Smears! You've been missing our date so you could train with firebenders? <laughs> so I could train with my cousins. And only two of them are firebenders. We have to be ready to defend you, Dao. Didn't you hear those protesters outside the city walls a couple days ago? Hmm? Uh... Don't tell me you were a part of that. We were leading that. Get away from me! You Dao was a Fire Nation colony. Smeller B said- I don't care what Smeller B said. You have to choose, Corey. Are you Earth Kingdom or are you Fire Nation? Choose! 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 All my life, people have been asking me to choose. I am an Earthbender and a Fire Nation citizen, and I live in you, Dao. That's what I choose. Now you choose, Sneers. Do you want to follow Smeller B? Or do you want to be with me? Greetings, Earth King Quay. Avatar Aang, Katara of the Southern Water Tribe, it's been much too long. I heard you were in the Earth Kingdom dealing with the situation at Yudao. Thank you for all your help with the removal of that colony. The remaining few seem to be more difficult than- That's why we're here, Your Majesty. We'd like to set up a meeting between you and Fire Lord Zuko. Yudao is still there. For now. So then. The Fire Lord persists in denying the movement his support. He wants to keep his colonies. Earth King Quay, I'm on your side. The people of the Fire Nation don't belong in your kingdom, so the Harmony Restoration Movement has to continue. With a little convincing, I'm sure Fire Lord Zuko- Fire Lord Zuko has legitimate concerns about the Colonials who still live here. We really need to sit down and talk through our options. Maybe there's something we missed. Hmm. <sighs>
this is bad. Why do we have to eat outside? The outside is so, so... Dark, cold, dirty. Do me! Oh, Ton, that's not even a word. And besides, a campfire is the perfect setting for a little Team Bayfong bonding. Uh, I think it's romantic. Uh, no, it's not. Where's Sifu Toph? How come she gets to miss out on all the bonding? She'll be here soon. She just had to, uh, take care of some, you know, seafoodish type stuff first. Hey, do you guys remember that flying boar banner that used to be in the training room? The one Kunio burned down. Anyone know why that was there? <laughs> oh, my boyfriend's so silly sometimes. Everyone in the Earth Kingdom knows that the white flying boar is the Beifong family symbol. No. I mean, yes, it is, but... That's not why the banner was there. Sifu Toph hung that banner up to placate the winged boar spirit that haunts this mountain. W -w winged boar spirit? What are you talking about? Yes, the winged boar spirit, the ancient harbinger of doom and eater of fine footwear. Doom? And now that Kuno's burned down the banner, we can probably expect to. Oh, look! Speak of the winged boar spirit! There it is right now! Ridiculous. I know that's you in there, Sifu Toph. Very perceptive, the Dark One. Or should I say, Moochie Gucci Lampucci the Third? By uttering that name, you've lodged a splinter in my soul. This is going better than I'd hoped. Everybody feel all that emotion coursing through your bodies. I want you to direct it at these coins. Let's metal bend, Team Bayfong! Uh, Team Bayfong? <laughs> Sweetie, you have to try this. I'm still working on these delicious pan-fried noodles. This has to be the best tofu I've ever tasted. Right, Momo? <laughs> Avatar Aang and Katara, thank you for giving me time to ponder our present situation. No problem, your earthiness. Thank you for dinner. So when should we set up our meeting with Fire Lord Zuko? I'm sorry, but you're not going to like what I have to say. All my life, I've been weak. So weak that my most trusted advisor was able to hide a hundred years war behind a curtain of lies. Well, I'm tired of being weak. It's time for me to be a man. What's that supposed to mean? Fire Lord Zuko promised you see the Harmony Restoration Movement to the very end. Now he's turned his promise into a lie. Why should I meet with him? So he can tell me more lies? I will not stand for any more lies. I will order General Howe to lead my troops to you now and enforce Harmony. Your Majesty, do you even hear what you're saying? Please, Earth King Quay. Sending your army there will be seen as a declaration of war. The Fire Nation residents of New Down Leave my kingdom peacefully, or face the most dire of consequences. That is my decision. If you're not with me, Avatar Aang, then I can only assume that you are against me. Toph! There you are. Don't give up yet, okay? I just got a brand new best idea ever. What if I rig it so that... You ever think about metal? No. Nope. When I have extra thinking time, I usually spend it on food. Meat, specifically. Metal is just a part of Earth that's been purified and refined. But how does it become like that? By getting heated, melted, and pounded. By going through pressure and pain. I discovered metal bending in a tiny metal cell 
when Master Yu and Shin Fu were taking me back to my parents. That whole trip, all I could think about was how my parents expected me to be something I'm not. Sure, they wanted me to be helpless, but they also wanted me to be a cultured, well-mannered, soft-spoken little lady. All I felt was pressure and pain. When I brought Hotan, Panga, and the Dark One to this school, I expected them to become metal benders. I was going to make them tough enough to move the most stubborn part of the most stubborn element. I expected them to be something they're not. How is what I'm doing to them different from what my parents did to me? Maybe the Beifong Metal Bending Academy is just a way for me to pass all that pressure and pain to someone else. No, Toph, that's not what this place is at all. When Kunio comes tomorrow, I'm going to go up to him and sit down. He can have his school back. We have to get back to Yudal. The sooner, the better. Hopefully we can convince the Fire Nation colonists to evacuate before General Howe gets there. Those people would be leaving their homes, maybe even their families. Aang, what happens if they refuse to go? The Earth King is right, you know. Not about sending his army, but about Zuko breaking his promise. Promises shouldn't be broken. Not ever. Sorry, buddy. We've got a long night of flying ahead of us. Yip, yip! Fly, messenger bird, fly! Tell our sisters in the Yudao chapter that the Avatar needs their help! Greetings, enemies of Kunyo! Prepare to be roasted in the flames of your own defeat! Nice headgear. I find it a convenient way to carry flags. I can take it off anytime I want. Where are your students, young lady? It's time to begin our deadly match to the... Set! I don't know where they are, but it doesn't matter. You can have your school back, Kunio. You win this match to the sit. Ha <laughs> ha. I knew it. Sifu Tov, don't sit down! <laughs> Ouch! Hotan? Did you just... metal bend? Yeah, I think I did! Hotan figured it out! I can't believe it. Normally, I'd pummel you for hitting me in the butt. But in this case, good job! Please don't sit down, Sifu Tov. Last night, the three of us heard- Is this some kind of dirt people trick? Disciples of Kunio, attack! <laughs> Come on, Team Beifong. It's no time to hide. Let's metal bend. Hmm. Ow! <laughs> this is easy. Hmm. I hate that it took us this long to figure it out. Huh? <laughs> Ow! Thanks! Stop firebending, my fellow disciples. We're just heating up the coins. Don't you dare stop, Disciples of Kunio! Never stop firebending! Never! You guys ought to be really proud of yourselves, Panga. I'm impressed. Kick rocks, loser! I'm over you! Hotan's the one for me now. What? Sifu Toph. Last night, the three of us were packed up and ready to leave. Then we overheard what you said about us. I don't get it. I didn't say a single nice thing about any of you. You told my ex that you expected us to become metal benders. Nobody's ever expected me to be anything other than a... A, a wimp. A spoiled brat. A tall, dark, mysterious hunk. Really? Why can't people see I'm more than just a pretty face? I have the soul of a poet! Sifu Tov, you're the first person to believe that we can become more than what we are. 
what are you lily livers waiting for then? You think getting some coins to fly through the air makes you metal bending masters? Get back to practice! Yes, yes Sifu Tough! This isn't me. Hmm. I know you've been secretly meeting with Ozai. May! Who did you hear that from? Does it matter? Not from you. I know I keep screwing up. But please, I... I love you, May. I know. But lately, I've realized that you love your secrets more. You'll have an easier time keeping them when you're alone. What are you telling me? Goodbye, Fire Lord. May! Come back! I... I... I order you to come back! Why would I say that? So stupid! This is my fault. I'm so sorry. When I asked her to talk to you about your father, that wasn't quite what I had in mind. Suki! But how did you know- I followed you yesterday morning. Sorry about that, too. We just wanted to know what was going on, to see if we could help in some way. The Kyoshi warriors are really worried about you, Zuko. I'm really worried about you. Fire Lord Zuko! General Logan! A message has arrived from the spies you sent to the Earth Kingdom. You sent spies? Your suspicions are confirmed. The Earth King's army now marches towards you, Dao! Father, you were right. Good team.